Hi, I'm the Barbecue Butcher. In today's video, we will be breaking down and cutting up a whole lamb with only using a handsaw and a few knives. I've had a lot of guys asking me about doing a whole animal before, and now I've got my cool rack here that we can do it. And uh, this is for the hunters out there that want to do it without using a bandsaw, because I know everybody doesn't own a pan saw at home to when they're cutting up their, their animals. So we're going to start off by taking the neck and the, the shanks off. So get your boning knife and uh, mark on the behind of the, the knuckle here, you can see it's elbow. So just a basic cut there, straight round, spin them around and we'll do the same there. And then with the neck, we're going to mark it neck chop straight away because while it's whole, it's a lot easier, a lot easier to cut with a handsaw. So I just do them three, as you can, like that. Make them quite thick. And my dog behind me will try and steal that as I'm doing this. And he's already taken one. <laughs> Sneaky little bugger he is. Little lamb chops. Now we're going to take the knuckle off. Exactly the same process as that. knuckles off then we're going to cut the forequarter straight off but you're going to mark it with your knife so you come up here you can see the indent there that's the shoulder blade and come around here you'll see the same part so I normally go there a little bit up because you can make the loins bigger straight round Again, get your saw. Grab it. Now we're going to work on the forequarter first of a few different cuts that we could do this for. So you've got your necks, shanks. First one we're going to do is we're going to take off these the breasts here. So if you come under the shoulder blade, go like that, and just repeat that real basic cut. And this just opens it up a little bit more. We can use that. We'll use those for uh, breast pieces. Um, Take the meat off, they're really cool. Really cool on the barbecue. Alrighty. Then this one here, we're gonna bone, we're gonna bone it out. Like so we're just gonna do a boned, boned and rolled shoulder, and this one we're gonna leave boned in, as you can see, like that. So straight down there. Pick up the meat, and remember the good old saying, follow the seams. So this is, a lot of people get stuck on the forequarter because they think, oh, what else can we use it for other than just straight roasts or just leaving it whole as a bone-in. I really like using them for boneless cuts, as you can see here. Then we scoop with our knife. Scoop, scoop, straight down. I'll come back to that. And now, again, it's got this little bit of the chunky neck, a bit of fat and stuff, take that off, then you've got the patty whack here, scoop them out, you don't want them to leave any of that patty whack in if you can, it's, it's really jelly, it's not jelly, bad word, it's not jelly at all, it looks like jelly but it's very hard, so if you see this cut here, this is what we call the neck fillet or if you know beef, this is the scotch fillet, so that's a really cool piece of lamb that people 
misuse. And then you can see here the two colors. Meat, a little bit of fat meat. If you go here, look, there's another seam. The world of magic seams on, on lambs. If you come up here and see there's that triangle going like that, there's a joint here for the elbow. If you go there and you'll see it. There it is, right there. Put your knife in there and it'll crack it open for you. And so on. And then go straight down, carry it on. And just keep on sliding out and keep on going out. Okay, so that will open up the shoulder or the blade bone. And get your knife, run down. Uh, and you get that, and the way you get this out the easy way is crunch it over like that. And then you get your shoulder blade, get your hand, hold your palm of your hand on the ball joint. <laughs> it's very slippery. And pull. Sorry about that. And done. Okay, and then there's one little piece of bone left here. Take that out. There are so many flies around today. It was raining yesterday, and what it, there was no flies. Now there's heaps. So that's the one load out. And then one little other tip in the shoulder that you've got to know about. In here is a big piece of fat. You just want to get rid of that. See that in there? You don't want that going in your, in your roast. And you get this like try like that, throw that in there, throw there, roll once, twice, and you got like a little roast. Get a bit of string. These are boneless roasts. A couple of knots to get it going. I always do one in the middle, one each side, and that gives it marks it out so you can see the spacing yourself one more down here and that, that's enough for it and then I'll hold it together while it's cooking then we'll do one down the back so when you cooked it cut the one off here and you just carve straight down like that it's just an easy way of remembering how to carve Done. So there's one of the four quarters used of the lamb This is when it would be really good to have a bandsaw, but we don't. So if you're at home or in the bush or on your farm, you're like, how do I, how do I get that off there? How do I get that done there? Actually, you can just run your knife down there. So that'll weaken it a bit. You see how I did that? I just weaken the bones and that'll come straight off like that and that part there you can just use as a, as a straight roast as it is okay it's a real traditional lamb four quarter roast but that's one way of doing it without a flash band saw that you need to take all this off but so you just roast that hole and all the all the bones will just come out so we'll leave that in there okay the next next cut we're going to do we're going to take the uh, lamb flaps off, which many, many years ago, these weren't worth much money at all. But now, with the invention of low and slow cooking, these are, we're going to turn them into lamb, lamb ribs. So get the skirt, this part up here is called the skirt. It goes like that, connects it together. So you just follow that down, and then you'll see the leg will go like that, and you're just going to follow your knife down like that. See, so that'll always keep it straight. That's how you keep it in a straight line. See that? I'll just grab the knife and saw. There's a lamb flap. We'll do the same to the other side. 
again, scoop the meat out, come down, a bit of angle there seeing the skirt, what we call skirt, straighten it up, and then this one, you do the opposite to what you did with the other one because it's on a different angle and it's easy. If you're left handed it's the other way, if you're right handed it's this way. Straight down. There's another lamb flap. Lamb flap, or we're going to turn these into lamb ribs. But the best part is we'll take, if you come here you'll see this brown stuff on the outside. It's called bark. In the, in the trade it's called bark. I don't know how they got it, maybe the bark of a tree. You just want to run your finger down and just slowly take it off. It's pretty chewy and it's not the best for when you want to do ribs. Once you can't pull it with your hand anymore, just get your knife. And again, yep, so we'll just slowly take the bark off. This is absolutely worthless. It's, it's so chewy, you can't do much with it. So there's the lamb flap. And then if you come here, we're going to take, like you saw the other day with me, I had a lamb, uh, pork rib. And you just, there's those soft bones again. Run straight down like that. And there's going to be your lamb spear rib. Real basic. But those go awesome on the barbecue. One of my favorite cuts. And guess who's going to get this one later on? The little fellow beside me. So we can do that. The, that lamb flap, you do exactly with this lamb flap. You don't need to see me do that again. Hey, the next part is, we're going to take off the loin. If you come and have a look closely in here, running down here is what we call the eye fillet, tenderloin. Every animal has them, even a lamb, beef ones, and this is the sought after cut. And I'll just show you something. There's a little soft bones. There's one there, and there's one there, and they're all the way down its spine. Okay, so we're going to do them here, right there, and then the knife will come through, and then I'll spin it that way. And we've already cracked the joint, and then I'm going to go like this, bang, that'll snap the rest of it. And we just take it off like that. See that? I'll show you up again up here how easy that was and that gets a lot of people confused. There's the ball joint. So you just put your knife through there, cut that and then bend it backwards so it breaks its back. Sounds a bit gross but that's how it works. This part we're going to trim out this part there and inside here there's always a little bit of fat. I'm going to scoop that out because what we're going to make these into is lamb loin chops. I know people are saying, oh, you don't have a bandsaw. I'm going to show you a way to do it that's not very hard at all. So we're going to, before we do that, we're going to get the last bone here, follow your knife down it like that, get the same bone here, and do it. And then if you well, look here, um, there's another, here's one of those joints. So you can see them all the way down. And again, we'll do that again. Bang. Easy. And what now we can scoop this inner fat out of here, just like that. All you gotta do is one there. Out of there. And we're gonna do a double loin chop, okay? So if we had a bandsaw, we'd go all the way down there, split it to do a single. But can't do it with the little hand saw, it's too hard. So we're just going to square it up on the back here, however, however thick you want. Two fingers. And this one, yep, look at that, four fingers at the end. Mark them through. Mark them through. Spin it around this way, and you'll see what I'm going to do. Get your saw, and there's only one 
little bone here that we've got in neck. And you can hear it cutting, and when it changes, stop cutting. Done. And that's through the bone. And there's the chops we're going to do like that. So you'd, you'd barbecue these exactly like that. And then you just carry on through the rest of them. We don't need to do that. So there's one other chop there like that. Or I can show you another one. So if you, you're not... There you go. Did you hear the difference in the saw made when it finished coming through the bone? So put those two up. Like that and there's a uh, chops lamb lamb loin chops now this is what we would use for french cutlets or a lamb rack i'm going to show you two two different cuts out of this that you can use but then one of them will still be able to use this part here as more lamb lamb spare ribs and one will be lamb nozette so down the back of it you can see its spine there it's sticking up and it's to that part there so we'll start here with our knife and just slowly with the tip of your knife follow it on an angle like that down the backbone of the animal just like that and then you slowly open them up and then this is the big heart of the meat right here so there's that the lamb lamb loin. We're just gonna carry on following down that down the back. Quickly just turn this into another little rolled roast. So that's pretty straight from following the lines. Make sure it's got no paddy whack in it. This one has a little bit of paddy whack in it again. You don't want to eat that, doesn't eat. If it's got a bit of bark, you can take it off or leave it on. It doesn't really matter. And this one's only a little bit, so just pull that part off because it is a bit chewier. Take out that little, because again, the same as the lamb loin. It had that piece of fat in there. This does as well. So take that off. Roll it up like so. It's just a different way of getting some different cuts out of your out of your lamb loin. If you just don't want to, you can do chops and whatever you want. But I actually prefer using the the more tender cuts for a little bit more fancier cut at home. It doesn't take that much longer, and your family will really really like you for doing it. Because I think a lot of people, a lot of farmers and hunters are telling me, oh, it's always chops. Everything's chops. This is a way of doing boneless product with not having it as a chop. Done. There we go, one little more. So put five strings around it, one at the end, one in the middle, two at the end, one in the halfway again with it. There's that. Trim it up at the end if you need to. You don't have to trim it up because it's just a waste of meat. There's another another idea. And this one, what we're going to make, is called a lamb a lamb cannon. I don't know how they came up with it, but that's how it came up with. So again, follow your knife down there. But this one, when we pull the piece of lamb out. The loin we're only going to pull the loin out we're not going to pull the back or the meat on the rib over there just stop see again guess what there's another seam pull that out and that is what we call a lamb scotch or a lamb loin it's going to be boneless you can do these into i'll show you you can do them to little butterflies or do it whole but before i do that i'm going to take off the silver skin same as an as a knife fillet, point your knife up, down, 
get rid of that part there. That'll be a lot more tender. So doing this side. Pull that off there. Yeah. These I'd just do whole like that on your barbecue. Slice them thin and put them in like a lamb salad. If you ever had a lamb salad, this is what a lot of the restaurants use for the lamb salad. So it's got to be tender. Put that there. And this part here, the other part that we had left over, real basic. Just run your knife there. Just straighten it up. If you like lamb ribs, lamb. And then you could just cut it straight down there like that. Or you could do the other way, like we did on the forequarter. Like that. And just break it with your hands. It's a lot easier. Remember, this is the technique for not using a power saw. So there you got some more lamb spear ribs. That part there, you can take the meat out of it and just give it to your dogs or whatever you want to boil it. Okay, now the last part we've got here is two lamb legs. What we're going to do on the first one is we're going to do a three-quarter bone-in lamb, lamb leg. And on the, the chump end, which I'll show you what the chump is in a minute, we're going to do chops and then we're going to do a bone rolled lamb leg. So here, if you have a look here, put your knife in he here, just scoop out. And I just want to show you, there's a little bone in here. I already found it. So there it goes straight in there like that. So that's pretty cool. And then this one is, as you see that bone, what I was finding there, come up to the top. Put a bit of weight on this hand here to pull the lamb. See, I'm pulling the lamb leg down. And just follow your knife down. We hit the ball joint, that's when you're on the right thing, right path. And inside the ball joint, see, there's that little tendon. That's what's keeping the, the ball joint connected to this bone. Crack him and he pops right open. Carry on down, and this part here. Just be careful with your hands. On this part, down, down, and just get your knife, run it down the back while pulling with this hand. So there we go, we'll take that up. So we'll use this one for the boned and rolled lamb leg, which we'll do now. Ready, right, right. so and then you've got a, another knuckle at this end, which we could use which we will, cut the tendon there, spin it over here, and there's a, another elbow, I'm gonna go there, I think there's his knee. Okay, so we're gonna clean out this bone here. Straight down there. We'll just clean it out, it doesn't have to be anything flash then. Scoop the meat off the bone. So what we're doing this, and then we're gonna pull the other bone to pull this bone out all by itself so we don't have to slash bone the meat. Come up there. Straight through. And then you'll hit the, la the bone, which we've got there. Push, spin it over like I just did. And just in here, you see there's a tendon? This is what people get stuck on. Cut that, push up, push up with a knife like that, so it's cleaning all that meat back into it, and then when we go like this, like winding it up, right, uh, pull it all out, now that lamp, piece of lamb has no bones in it, totally deboned, and the bone is on this lamb shank. Again, take him off, just go straight through the joint, really easy to find the joint. That's a, another lamb shank that you can do with your four quarter ones. Okay. Just trim this off here. Trim a bit of that off just to tidy it up. Anything. Inside here, if you saw my other video, one of my other doing a lamb video, there's actually a gland in here that you want to get out. 
trying to open it up so you can see it. See that big globule there? It's going to be in there. Okay. So we've got them. There's a gland in there. You don't want to eat it. Okay, now we're going to roll this again, like some of the other. So get the where the shank was, and this is the chump end. Just grab the top, spin it over in front of you, and just leave it like that. So you've got a straight line. See that straight line? It's the easiest way of rolling a lamb leg because you're working on that straight line. Again, put it right in the middle. Not too tight on the first one. Not too tight. Second one, again, straight up there again. A little bit tighter this time, so it evens it all up. This one there, straight up again. Remember, if you want to know how to tie the knots, I've got another video on the channel that shows you in slow motion and how to tie a lamb, how to tie a, a butcher's knot. My knot's probably one of the easiest ones to do. It's the cleanest, I find. Um, very easy to get them all perfectly in a row. I see some people trying to teach knots and I'm like, they can't even get them in a line. And I'm like, so there's your whole boneless lamb leg as well. Now we're going to come back over here to the lamb leg. So this one here, if you come up here, you can split it. See how I just went through the joint? Just be careful on doing that one, okay? And then come up here. So we want to leave and pull down like that. And you can see the bone in there. So we take that, that's just the rest of the animal. And this part here, just again, to cut it off there, however you have it hanging in your house, on a tree, on a frame, many different ways. So we're going to do this as a three-quarter lamb leg roast with the bone in. So again, just clean up all of this. But be careful here, because this is the lamb fillet. Under all this is the lamb fillet. You don't want to waste it. You end up giving it to your dogs. My dog's very spoiled. Again, now we're going to do these into a couple of other chops, which at the same time you can cook with your lamb leads, uh, lamb loin chops, because these are lamb lamb rumps or the chump. Remember who did I say a chump? That's the chump. From that part there, all the way through there, and that's the fillet. So we're going to leave that on. So again, do them the same length, same width. One. Two, we're going to get three like that. Done. First one is always a little bit, a bit small. <laughs> you hear the noise, as soon as it went through the bone it stopped, so just Stop the soaring. Take your time on this last one. It goes a bit wiggly. There we go. There is three more lamb, what we would call lamb leg chops. So that can go there. And this here is your normal everyday lamb leg bone in that you'd buy at the supermarket or in the trade we call this a ckt leg but i always just you can cut this part off here with your saw just to make it a little bit better and when it's cooking than having this big yucky part sitting up looks like i need a new saw blade guys <laughs> So I'll go back through all the cuts and I'll lay them out. So that's your bone and lamb leg. This will be your boneless lamb leg roast, two roasts. Then you've got your chops, your lamb leg chops. 
your loin chops, your lamb nozette, hopefully I said it right this time, and that's a, again, you can cook this whole or cut it in between the st strings and make little steaks. You got your lamb spare ribs, one of my favorite. A lamb, lo a lamb loin or uh, a lamb cannon. You've got a whole boned in shoulder. You've got a boneless sh lamb shoulder. You got your hind shanks. Your four shanks and lamb necks minus one because somebody down there decided to eat one. And that's breaking down a whole lamb just using a hacksaw and a butcher's knife in your back garden just like I did. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you on my next video. Thanks a lot.